Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another Quantar video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to discuss uh, something known as the Delta Volume Tracker. Uh, what it does is essentially give you uh, an alert or a signal or uh, on the pops up on the watch list whenever a particular threshold in the Delta value has been breached. The threshold of course is set by us. So. Um, uh, the, what I have here is a bank nifty and the uh, bank nifty option chart. You can try it on any index. You can try it on several indices. You can try it on stocks. So uh, before we get into the Delta volume tracker, I will just get into uh, what has been happening uh, on today that is Friday uh, because this is important when you before you get into the uh, alert uh, and how to use it. So what we have seen today is that uh, the market has been ranging after the up move in the beginning now uh, one thing if you look at the charts carefully what has been happening is whenever there is a delta breach on some uh, level whenever it has crossed a particular threshold uh, it has reverted back on mean reverted so whenever it has crossed above a, a th threshold let's say 350 or 250 or 1000 and uh, it has trapped the buyers on one side and then similarly whenever it is crossed minus 250 it has trapped the sellers on the downside now uh, you can have different values for the positive delta and the negative delta when you're setting up the alert we will just get into that now uh, uh, i'll get into the market profile chart also in a while uh, so that i can explain now uh, uh, you would ask when the market opens let's say over here uh, and the delta uh, is breached now after 10 10 30 whenever this is gone positive so over here what you actually are looking to find is a set of trap traders that are on the wrong side okay and after the up move i will just explain in the market profile chart what i mean uh, you've seen that this is the place where uh, people are generally getting trapped on the upside and this is the downside move and we've uh, not been able to breach this low uh, throughout the day now uh, why do we expect this to happen uh, today is i will just get into the market profile chart and uh, and how you can play this uh, quite uh, interestingly is uh, you look at what has happened be uh, before now the market did break the four day balance structure and uh, break out on this particular day that is yesterday but today it opened within this range so that the probability of this ending within this range is really really high now uh, this would have been a trend day if the market would have continued on thinner profiles like a b you can look at the volume profile as well and continued further uh, in the c d or e period and cross this and we could have expected a trend day but what it does is it just tests the value area high of the other person and uh, of the previous day and starts trading like this so what we are going to do is because it is a day like this where it is going to balance throughout the day uh, when we started the day we can expect that is why uh, we are looking at uh, absorptions or a negative delta correlation what do i mean by negative delta correlation is whenever there is a high value for example whenever the delta uh, falls below minus 250 or 300 uh, like it is doing now we can expect a sort of absorption in this area which has been happening throughout the day now again this is generally uh, you should do it prior to 1340 or uh, 1330 and certainly before 1400 why because there is a lot of expiries that go on and generally after that period they will do some uh, weird spiky moves on one side and then the other side finally they'll end up closing closing somewhere here itself because again it has been ranging throughout the day and that is what the indication as of now is so uh, like we are talking we can straight away see it has reached a level where we can expect a sort of absorption so let's go to the p chart over here and let's see what is happening over here so again uh, this is a p chart and we uh, are expecting it to uh, like it is crossed a certain level and if you see a bar something like this on the downside we can expect uh, the uh, the price to mean revert something what we are seeing over here for example 375 so we see a set of traders getting trapped here so what we can expect at this point is that if we put a stop loss of let's say 10-15 uh, points we can observe or we can get a 10-15 point move to the other side after these guys are trapped so you can see straight away how fast this uh, things uh, starts uh, retrieving, retrieving back and this is so common uh, whenever uh, we have a range day like this you can see what is happening over here so uh, this is what we are expecting uh, whenever this is breached now this is where the delta volume tracker comes in real uh, handy so uh, let's get a watch list let's get a plain watch list out and uh, we'll set it up and see how this happens so this is a watch list okay i have it on over here now uh, i'll first thing i'll do is i'll remove uh, everything over here so what i will get to know is whenever i see moves like this i will be informed and uh, 
so this is the symbol and the last so the first symbol i'm going to add is bank nifty futures and uh, bear in mind that i am going to look into the futures chart and not the spot chart why is that because the volumes are actually getting traded on the futures chart and not on the spot chart that is why i prefer uh, places only where the volumes are traded so this is the options chart um, I, I mean this is the option chart and this is the futures chart these are the only two charts i'm going to consider now so uh, we'll start with the, the options part and we can see what we were discussing is happening and you can see if you would have uh, you would have already got 20 points when we just discussed so this is the alert anything above 250 300 whenever it has happened the market has done something like this okay and gone to the other end you can add a little bit of your other market structure into place because this is a, a low that has been being defended for a lot of time like we just looked into the market profile and it can give you a quick 15 20 points like this just be like we just saw uh, within uh, 10 i mean uh, 2 to 5 minutes okay so uh, that aside let's uh, get into this uh, and uh, let's set up the delta alert now if you see over here there is a function or indicator tab we'll type delta volume tracker now we need to know and be made aware of these uh, things whenever the market reaches this place so i'm going to look into a five minute chart and then we're going to apply the changes now it will calculate the delta volume for the five minutes only this is a 15 minute chart so i'll just get the five minute chart as well for you so that you can look at it uh, uh, easily okay now the other thing is uh, you will see that uh, since we opened in the midst of the five minute candle it will not be exactly same but as soon as the next bar starts this will exactly be the same and it will start popping up properly okay so you see what these guys have done again they've trapped all these sellers that have come here and they're going to the other direction so uh, this is so common on a day like this so you have to understand the market structure if it was a trend day i would have used this particular indicator in a set different manner but since it is a mean reverting day i'm going to keep using it till the time i fail uh, in this way anything below minus 250 i'm going to look you can see i'm going to look for the other direction even here when it came here it went to the other direction ne the next time it has come here it is again going to the other direction so i'm going to keep looking for uh, trades like this of course the uh, delta has changed because uh, when when it was here the delta was really low as we just saw on the other chart now we're going to set up the delta volume tra tracker okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and choose setup actions we're going to uh, name this as delta less than let's say minus 230 is what we were seeing we want to be shown whenever it crosses or comes below 230 and uh, the condition that we're going to do is the delta volume tracker whenever is it is less than or equal to the custom value that is minus 230 i want to be made aware and the offset zero means of the particular bar if you want it for the previous bar you can keep uh, setting it up for uh, previous bars as well so if i do one so it will be show me of the previous one minute candle and uh, i'm sorry the previous five minute candle and so on so you can keep going uh, and doing this and adding these alerts okay now uh, the action that i want is i want the row to be colored and since it is a negative uh, I want it to be colored magenta and I apply the changes okay now uh, whenever the delta falls below uh, 250 or 230 this will color uh, magenta now let's add another uh, action so that we can test whether our alerts are working so I also wanted uh, want to be uh, alerted whenever it falls below let's say minus 50 okay and uh, what I want to do over here is I'll go to the delta volume tracker and it falls uh, below or equal to and let's say minus 50 this time what i want is i just want the cell to be colored not the row the text to be uh, red and i apply the changes now uh, what this will do is uh, whenever it falls below minus 50 this will cover uh, only the cell will uh, become red let's see if it happens in this bar of course it is going in the other direction similarly uh, what we'll do is we can add an action for the uh, for checking purposes let us uh, set up an action for the positive side okay uh, so let's go add another action and we go here and we say delta is greater than is uh, greater than 50 we add a condition that is uh, let's add a condition that is whenever the delta volume tracker goes above or equal to let's make it that and custom value is 50 what we want is uh, 
the add task is color the cell as blue only the cell as blue and uh, I'm sorry the text as blue and the back as transparent let's change the other part also and apply changes okay and let's enable this and apply changes okay so uh, you can see here the uh, cell has become red over here as we set up in the condition so i know that it has gone below 50 and i can uh, straight away look into the chart what has happened and uh, uh, look over here so again uh, we can play out these ranges sim in a similar fashion again after 1345 1400 uh, the moves will be wild considering the expiry that's happening on a daily basis but throughout the day if you go and check the charts it worked particularly and very very well so the delta has not breached that particular level so it has gone minus below minus 50 and we can see it over here okay and you can play this accordingly throughout the day on a i mean uh, a range bound market that is let's go back to the tpo chart on a market like this because we're expecting this whole protrusion to become even wider and whenever it goes or breaches some other point on the top and on the below you're going to get a mean reversion to the uh, poc that we call or the thick area or the thick profile that we've seen here okay so let's get back to the uh, alert that uh, we have set up and uh, so this is the watch list uh, let me get it back and this is the watch list okay over here and let's get the five minute chart as well so that uh, we have better clarity over there and this is the five minute chart okay so now the other thing that you can do is you can also have an option uh, uh, same thing applied to the option into the watch list what I generally like to do is I like to have a different uh, options uh, I mean watch list why I will just tell you so let's get this 360 uh, I mean the 46,000 uh, 700 PE chart uh, which is uh, this one uh, let's get this is the 46,000 yes it's the 47,000 PE so we'll get the 47,000 PE chart over here and uh, this is the uh, same uh, thing for options over here now I get the Delta again the same thing whenever the after the next five minute bar starts it will st start popping up here and the conditions are straight away being applied here now why I said I like to have a different uh, options or the watch list for options is because the volumes in options are almost 10 times as much as the futures if you can straight away see the difference uh, in both so that is why I like to have a different set of conditions for the options and uh, straight away I can see that uh, when you saw a lot of uh, selling was coming in and you can see the average volume or delta volume for uh, options on this particular uh, strike price is generally 2500 to uh, it can go beyond much beyond also over here for example you see uh, you can look at the absorption that has taken place here look at the sellers that came in here and uh, they all absorbed similarly this is a range where we can see a lot of absorption taking place and similarly this is the range where you see a lot of absorption that is taking place so when you combine this with the bank nifty futures chart what you can notice is throughout the day at least until 1400 what you'll see is these charts and the fade moves are what you should be taking and not the breakout moves they're all going to fail look at these uh, positive delta values and the negative delta values all fail so whenever it crosses a certain threshold you can straight away match these areas and the zones and you take a very uh, good educated i mean uh, trade in against the delta uh, trend so the delta is negatively correlated today because it is a ranging market as i said on a trend market you would go in the opposite direction that is if there is a higher move like this you wait for the bar to retrace to the poc or the higher volume cluster bar and then take the opposite side okay so again this is popping up uh, like we expected the other thing that you can add is uh, just for understanding purpose which i also like is you go to the indicator tab you go to the indicator tab over here and add the uh, delta volume poc which i've already added and uh, we'll just go ahead and see how uh, this is working with the uh, alerts so we go to the uh, setup actions we go over here and uh, what i did is i uh, i'll go to this uh, simpler one okay so whenever the delta falls below 50 i have added a condition wherever the last price is below the delta volume poc i want it uh, to be popped up and the back is colored in uh, red okay so uh, whenever this happens it will show up so i need i know that uh, the poc or the last price is below the poc and this makes more sense when i'm uh, trading a trend day that is uh, 
what I'm expecting on a trend day is that uh, since the price has moved below POC and uh, the market is going to continue in direction uh, in that direction because uh, it is a trend day, the delta is correlated. I will look for uh, another place, uh, something like this, whenever I'm targeting, uh, wherever I'm targeting. On days like today, what we can expect is uh, this POC uh, will not work as well. What will work is the, like I just discussed that uh, whenever it is going up at a particular place, we will expect absorptions to take place. I just get the five minute chart as well again. Okay, so we'll expect absorptions like what has been happening here. Uh, you will see over here and what has been happening on the other side. So this is where the absorption has taken place. And then this is another place where there is absorption taken place. Similarly, if you look at the options chart, you can set up the conditions and the watch list on the options chart. This is one place and this is one place. So throughout the day, you will keep see this, uh, seeing this value. Even if there is a shift in values, you will see that the uh, correlation of delta is uh, quite significant. What I mean by that is whenever it goes up, uh, for example, now we can see in the live markets, the delta has reached a certain level. Now, uh, whenever it reaches that minus 1900 or 2000 level, you will see some sort of absorption. This is one place where we can see an absorption. Again, uh, after 1400, it is better not to deploy the strategy. The reason being that after that, uh, the expiry moves start happening after 1400, 1415, 1430. But this is what you can expect. So expecting a breakout at uh, levels like this uh, is not that uh, smart on days uh, as uh, today where the market is ranging and uh, you can set up this POC values or any other indicator for that matter that you like along with this particular delta volume tracker or any other uh, indicator from the uh, order flow that you need to have confidence with. I just get the watch list again. Now, uh, why do we do that? We need to get uh, intimated about uh, the particular strike or the particular index where we're seeing an absorption sort of uh, happening and we want to enter similarly on a trend day when we want to see this you can set up the threshold value that even if you see anything above minus 150 you want to be uh, alerted so that you can enter the trade uh, in the direction of the trade today whenever there is a, a positive delta of something like we just spoke uh, something like this happening it is mean reverting to the other side so on today days like today we want to uh, I mean, fade the moves. Whenever it has crossed above 240, let's say on the upside, we want to fade it to the downside. Similarly, when it is uh, breached below 240 over here on a five minute chart, we want to play the other side. So you can see the similar action that is taking place over here. And uh, you can, uh, in fact, uh, have stocks also in your watch list, place them, have a separate watch list for the options. And uh, what I generally prefer is that I have only three or four stocks because I, as I said, we need to have the market context in a uh, picture before we can use this uh, beautiful tool uh, in conjunction with the entire uh, I mean market structure. So uh, hopefully uh, this video was of some help to you guys. Until next time, thank you. Bye-bye.